gosh, they're never gonna find me. I'm the best at hide and seek. This is so much fun. All right, Mom, I'm ready. You can come searching for me now. Yep, mm-hmm. That's great, Nathan. Great job. Mom, what are you doing? I thought we were playing hide and seek. No, we're leaving him behind. He's a loser. But he's my twin brother. Don't you question me. I'm your mother. Let's go. Wow, no one's come to find me at all. It's been forever. Maybe I just had like the best hiding spot in the world. I guess I'll have to find out. All right, everyone. Come on. I guess I win. Wait, wait a minute. No, no, no. Come back. Mom. Mom, you forgot me. Hello. Did she just leave me on purpose? Mom, Aaron, wait, you forgot me. Come back, please, mom. Oh my gosh, what's going on over there? There's a bunch of people. Yeah, there's been a horrible accident. I don't know if the people in this car have survived or not, but my goodness, is it bad. My name's Chet Flenderson. Make sure you tune in tonight at 11 to see more updates on what happened with this horrible, horrible accident. No. No, what if that was my mom and my brother? Am I really stuck here by myself forever? My family, my poor family. I can't be around all these people. Well, I guess this is it. At least maybe this cardboard box will help me get out of the rain. Maybe I can sleep here for the night. Hey, get lost. What? what are you talking about, man? This is a public area. Yeah, but this is my box here. You can't be anywhere near it. I live here. Well, do you know if there's anywhere that I can stay? I mean, I don't mean to intrude on your home, but I don't have anywhere to go, and my family just passed away. Well, there's a newspaper on the other side of the garbage can. You can use that. A newspaper? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Great job, Aaron. Oh, you're such a good son. Nathan, what is your problem? Oh my gosh, you're the worst. All right, everyone, get in the car, let's go. Yeah, I'm so excited. This is gonna be awesome. Hello? Hello, is anyone? Mom, Aaron, where are you? Mom, no, no, no. Come on, kid, wake up. Oh my gosh, whoa. Oh my gosh, I must've been having a nightmare. Are you okay? Uh, I mean, I'm not doing that great. I'm sleeping out here in the streets. <sighs> Will, my name's Ben. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, Ben. Look, I, I don't mean to ask or bother, but any chance you have an extra place that I can stay for the night? Please, man. I have no one. My whole family's gone. I just need a place to stay for the night. It's freezing out here. Yeah, well, you better get looking for a place. The storm's getting worse. There's nowhere to go. I don't have any money. I'm literally just sleeping out here in this newspaper. Well, that sounds like your problem, not mine. We all have our own stuff to deal with. I've got my own, and I don't need help with none of it. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid I'm going to die out here. I'm going to get, like, pneumonia or something. I don't know. I just want someone out there to care about me for a second. Don't you understand what that's like? Don't you know what it's like to feel rejected and to lose everything that you've ever had? You know what? I do, actually. I know all too well. Well, then please, just have a heart. I, you won't even know that I'm there. Just let me stay the night. I just need a place to get out of the rain. That's it. Please. Uh, well, if it's going to stop you from crying, then fine. I have an extra room and you can stay in there. But don't bother me and keep to yourself. You got it? Then thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Now shut up. Come on. We got to get out of here. This brand new autograph poster of me and Brittany. Look how cute I look. I want you to go to shameplays.shop and pick my team because if you do, you get custom Shane Plays stickers along with your poster. Wow, this is a great place. Thank you so much. Big step up from the newspaper. Yeah, that's for sure. This place isn't big, but it's perfect for me. Wow, this is really nice. And hey, dude, this looks like it was like a daughter's room or something. Do you have kids? Nope, only I live here now. But where is she? Did she she grow up or something? Boy, you're starting to ask a whole lot of questions. Uh, all right, I, I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to upset you. Yeah. 
Well, someone's at the door. Uh, it's, uh, it's just a rental notice. Let uh, me get that taken care of real quick. Well, it looks like I just got to run away and find another place to go. I mean, it doesn't seem like Ben really wants me here, and I don't want to bother him. He's already been so nice to me. All right, I got to find a safe place to jump so I don't hurt myself. All right, this looks great. I can just jump off and then run away, and I can move forward with my life. Okay, here it goes. I'm just gonna jump and- Oh! Well, I think that he broke his leg. Uh, are you the boy's father? No, I barely know this kid. Well, he's gonna have a lot of rehab. I mean, he, he knocked himself out. He busted his leg up. You think you can help him out? Does he have anywhere to go? Do you know his parents? Well, I don't know about his parents. I'm guessing they're gone. I suppose I could help him out, you know, till he feels better. All right, well, even if you decide not to, uh, can you just come to the hospital with us? Yeah, I guess so. Good, there's a lot of paperwork that needs to get filled out. Okay, let's get out of here, get the broken leg out, and let's get him back to the hospital. That was a stupid thing that you did. What were you thinking? Why would you jump off a roof? I don't know, I just didn't want people thinking that I needed their help. Well, what's the matter with you? You don't have your mom there to teach you anything? No, my, my mom abandoned me. And she never treated me right. And I think that she's gone now anyway. I watched her. She was in a car accident. I just... I... Oh, jeez, man. All right, calm down. There's no room for crying right now. You've already had a tough day as it is. But I just miss my mom so much. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you, man. I got other patients, so... Nathan, what on earth were you thinking? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just uh, it's all a lot. Yeah, this is a lot. This is a big mess you've made. Yeah, well, whatever. It's not like you care anyway. You wouldn't understand what I'm going through. Get back here. Where are you going? Nathan, get back here. Where do you think you're going? You're on crutches. You're not even running that fast. No, just leave me alone. You don't care anyway. You don't know what I'm going through. Will you just stop and explain yourself? My mom abandoned me, okay? And then she died in a car accident with my twin brother. Is that what you want to hear? That my life is miserable and I don't have anybody that cares about me? Follow me. Seriously, that's all you have to say? Shut up and follow me. So what, dude? This is a pizza shop. You see that bench there inside? Yeah? That's where I took my daughter every single Sunday. This is where I spent my days with her. Okay, so what? You don't go there anymore with her or something? She doesn't talk to you anymore? No, I don't go there anymore. My wife and my daughter are gone. Wait, so, so you're like me. You had lost your family too. Exactly. I know what it's like to lose family. It's one of the hardest things you'll ever have to go through. Oh, man, look, I I'm sorry. I, I was being selfish. I All I've been thinking about is myself lately, and I didn't realize that maybe you were hurting too or something. I, I don't know. I I didn't I'm sorry. Nah, whatever. It's fine. We should go grab a slice while we're here, though. Yeah, I could definitely go for that. Man, first day out of my crutches. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're walking like a newborn cow. You're all over the place. Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, how is it going? You Ben? Yeah, I'm Ben. Oh, great, Ben. Ben, all right, I got some news for you, pal. You're going to be homeless in about four minutes. What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about how you never pay your rent, ever. Come on, I, I just need another day, and I'll have the money that you need. Yeah, no, not going to happen. The landlord's real mad. He called us, okay? That's how you know it's bad. And we looked into it, and you haven't paid in six months. Listen, man, it's been rough, okay? I've been trying to get as much money as I can. We obviously haven't been doing a good job with it. Look at this place. It's a dump. Come on, officer, please. Just just one more day. I swear. It, just let me stay here. This is my house. This is all I have left. 
Yeah, but it's not your house because you don't pay for it. Somebody else has to pay for it. And they called us. I'll tell you what. I'll be a nice guy. Instead of four minutes, I'll give you one hour. All right? Then you can pack up whatever stupid stuff you own and you can get moving. Look, I just can't take care of you, man. Come on, Ben. Like, we're both in the same situation. I don't want any more change. Things have been hard enough. Yeah, but I can barely take care of myself. What makes you think I can take care of you, too? I don't know, man. You're leaving me, too, just like everyone else. Everyone in this world hates me, and I don't understand. It's just a lot taking care of someone else, and I don't have the time for it. Whatever, Ben. Just go enjoy the rest of your life. Don't worry about me. I'll I'll figure it out. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry, kid, No, okay? whatever. Whatever. Hi, ma'am. Uh, just got dropped off here. I guess I, I need a place to stay. Ew! No! You! Ugh! Disgusting! Well, uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know why you think I'm disgusting. Why everybody hates me. It doesn't make any sense. Just please. I'm here. I need help. No! You're gonna kill our business! People will take one look at you and think that we only have uglies. Ugh! But aren't you an orphanage? Aren't you supposed to take everyone? Everyone but you! I don't know if things get any worse. I just want my family back. But I have to realize that they're never coming back. Oh, hey! Oh, hey there! Oh my gosh, it's you! You're the news reporter, Chet Flenderson, right? Yeah, that's right! Roblox most famous news reporter, Chet Flenderson here. How are you, kid? You, you were the one that reported on my mom and brother's accident. Uh, mate, I don't know. What are you talking about? Wasn't it my mom and my brother that got into a car accident? A and you were the one that reported, remember? Oh, like what? Like a few months back? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, man, no. That wasn't a mom and a brother. That was a mom and a sister, and there was like three other people in the car. W wait a minute. So it wasn't my family? Uh, I don't think so. If it was just your mom and your brother driving that car, then it absolutely wasn't. Oh my gosh! My family! They're still alive! My brother! My twin brother is still out there! Thank you! Thank you! I have to find my family! Hey you! Freeze! No! Leave me alone! Oh, oh my gosh, that was a close one. I've been all over the city trying to find my mom. Can't believe that it's been 10 years and I haven't been able to find them. Oh, maybe this will be it. What do you want? Uh, I'm here to speak to Veronica. Is that you? Yeah, who's asking? Oh, I'm I'm looking for my mom. My name's Nathan. Look, kid, you've got the wrong lady, okay? I don't have any kids. Okay, I I'm sorry. I just don't know where to start. I've just been looking all over for her. So I'm just trying to find anyone named Veronica that's around the same age as my mom, that's all. So you're gonna go around town and bother every single lady with the name Veronica? You're a real jerk! Uh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to find my family, that's all. There you are! You're in big trouble, mister! Oh, this is so stupid. I've been everywhere in the city. These last 10 years have been ridiculous. And I can't believe now the cops are making me live at this adoption center. All right, kid, get used to it. The city wants you to live here now. But I can be on my own. I have family out there, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. Please, seriously, I don't have to be here. I'm fine on my own. Well, guess what? Life's about to get a whole lot tougher for you. You're going to school again, kid. Oh, please, I just want to find my mom. I'm, you know what, I'm just going to leave. Nope, not happening. Come on, got to show you where you're staying. I should have never gotten in trouble. Well, here it is. Doesn't it look pretty? I guess. All right, get settled. Uh, hey, man, what's up? I'm Nathan. It doesn't matter what your name is. You're not staying here. I'm not sharing my room with anyone. Well, I don't have a choice, man. I tried to leave. They're making me stay here. So regardless of what you say, this is my room too. Honestly, just looking at your face started to make me real angry. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That's something you're going to have to deal with because I have to stay here. Oh, yeah? Well, you better not get in my way. Man, I can't believe that I'm in school again. This is so weird. 
Oh, not you again. What, are you following me? No, I'm in this class, dude. Great. Now I'm in the class with this ugly idiot. The stupid one that fell off the roof. Wait, how did you know about that? Well, it was all over the news, kid. It was hilarious. Boy falls off roof. I mean, you don't see that every day. Why don't you just leave me alone, all right, man? It's bad enough I got to share a room with you. I don't want to have to deal with you at school, too. Shut up. You don't even deserve to talk to me, idiot. Whatever. I don't need this. Yeah, well, you better be careful walking to your desk. You don't want to trip. <sighs> Whatever. I'm just going to ditch school. Nobody's going to know. Aaron, hey, wait a minute. Wait, what did you just call me? Aaron, your name. No, my name is Nathan. <laughs> okay, funny story. Is it April Fool's or something? Wait a minute. Where'd you hear that name? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Yeah, woo. I love you, Aaron. You're the best twin brother in the world. Tag, you're it. <laughs> Oh, I'm coming for you. Ow! Stop being so reckless and get up. Jeez, why can't you be like your brother? Ow, it hurt. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, I, I just can't believe that you actually know my brother. I never thought this day would happen. Yeah, and I never thought that Aaron had a twin. This is so weird. I've been trying to find him. I don't want to get into it, but we didn't have the best life, and... I was basically abandoned a long time ago. Seriously? Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's wild. So where is he now? I don't know. He left. Our last day together was like really weird. He seemed really off. And then he just never came back? It was like he vanished. But all I got was this note in my locker that was saying that he was moving. Here. And they went to a car dealership in town before heading out. All just seemed so wrong. Well, I guess I have to go to the car dealership. Maybe they'll know where they went. So are you sure you don't know anything about a woman named Veronica? All I know is my name is Eunice, okay? You ever heard of me? I'm kind of famous around here. Oh, please, I'm just looking for my mom. Oh my gosh, this guy again crying about his mommy. Wah! You're driving business away because you're so ugly. Please, I, I just need to know where she is, that's all. I know that you sold her a car. I sell lots of people cars, okay, man? I'm the assistant manager here. I once was the manager at the pizza shop, but that's another story for another time. Please, I'll literally never bother you again. Fine, she said that she was leaving because she had some other stupid kid that was trying to follow her around or something. So she went with the kid that she actually cared about so that the stupid idiot would never find her. <laughs> Isn't that funny? No, I I'm the stupid idiot. Oh, yeah, that makes it even more funny. <laughs> you know what, dude? You're an awful person, and your car dealership is terrible. Whoa, hey, now. Those are some harsh words coming from a loser that no one loves. I'm going to go find my family one way or another. <laughs> Bella, come on. I got a car. Pull over right now! You stole this car? I thought you bought it! What's wrong with you? Well, I don't know. That guy was a jerk. And I need to find my family. You don't know what this is like. Yeah, but you can't just steal. That's like super illegal. Well, I don't care anymore. No one cares about me. Why would my mom try to escape me again just because she knew I was in town? Look, I don't have all the answers for you. But you can't just do whatever you want trying to find your family. You still need to be a good person. There are still laws, you know. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, man, I really messed up, huh? Thanks for actually being a good friend and looking out for me. I really do appreciate it. Wait, um, did you put the car in park? No, 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 please don't crash. Oh, no. Well, only two miles away. My mom's somewhere in that city. I guess we're going to have to walk now. Well, I think this is it. This is the only Veronica that lives in town. What are the odds of that? Looks like you got to go in there. See if it's her. Oh, I'm so nervous. Mom! Oh, no. You found me. 
What do you want? Why did you leave me? I've been trying to find you for 10 years. Is Aaron okay? Where is he? I want to say hi. Don't worry about him. He's a good son, and I don't want you around him, ruining him. You don't even know me. I was just a little kid when you left. Please, Mom, I need to see my twin brother. No, I didn't like you then, and I'm definitely not going to like you now. Please, Mom, just accept me. That's all I've wanted my entire life. I don't want to be all alone. You're a failure and a loser. Now get out. I want you off of my property immediately. Gosh, what a waste of time. Wait up, wait up. Hey, hold on a minute. Wait. No, I've wasted my entire life. Don't you get that? All I want was my family and they rejected me. I can't even see Aaron. I mean, he's my twin brother. Do you know what that feels like? It's like I don't even exist to him. And all I care about is finding him. It's so frustrating. Look, I I'm really sorry. I don't know what to say. It's not much to say. This is just how my life is. <laughs> oh, look who it is. The stupidest dumb dumb I ever met in my life. Uh, uh-oh. Yeah, that's right. You didn't think I'd find you, but all Eunice did. Look, I, I, I don't know what to say, okay? I'm going to say that the poor, rejected, orphan kid that no one loves is going to jail now. <laughs> Please, I know that I messed up, okay? Don't get me in trouble for this. Oh, yeah, I don't think you know me very well, pal. I'd get you in trouble for this even if you didn't do it. But now that you did and you messed with me, you're going down, man! The evidence stacked up against you is incredible. You're going to jail for a very, very long time. Do you have anything you'd wish to say before I lock you away? Yeah, I guess there is. Wait, stop! It, it wasn't him! Ben? What is the meaning of all this? It was all me. I'm behind everything. Ben, you don't have to do this. Listen, kid. You don't deserve to go to jail. Well, neither do you. You didn't do anything wrong. Well, I already lived my life. And you have a whole life ahead of you. It's the least I can do. I want to help. Oh, I can't believe that you would do this for me. You really are a good friend. Yeah, now shut up. Judge, I was the one that sent the boy to steal the car. It's my fault. I, I should be the one arrested and going to jail. Well, all of this is good enough for me. It doesn't matter if you're coming in here accepting all the blame. It's jail time for you. Guards, arrest this man. Hey, Mom. Welcome home. Oh, hello, Aaron, dear. I'm so happy to see you. Look, I've been meaning to tell you something. Uh, sure, Mom. What's going on? I am just so proud of you and all the things you accomplished, but I, I, I have some real bad news. Uh, okay. What is it? Look, I lost my job, okay? What? Mom, that's awful. What, what, what happened? Look, it's a long story. Ew, you smell so weird. Oh, get out of here. The whole store reeks. How can you say that? <laughs> Look, follow me. Let's go outside. Mom, you're acting really weird. I I'm sorry, but I I'm leaving on a trip. A trip? W w well, where are we going? It's not important, but you can't come with me, okay? What? Why not? That's the one thing I ask of you, Aaron. You cannot follow me, okay? Um, uh, okay, fine. I'll be back soon. Love you so much. Love you too. Oh, that was a long day at work. really well. I'm making a ton of money right now. 
I'll never forget what Ben did for me. I mean, he really changed my life and gave me a new perspective and new opportunities that I never thought that I'd have. I don't feel sorry for myself anymore. It's no one's fault what happened, but I'm the one that has the control how to deal with it. Oh, what was that? Is someone trying to rob me or something? Hello? Mom? What are you doing here? Nathan! Wow, it is so good to see you. How dare you show up at my house like this? Are you kidding me? After everything you put me through? Why would I want to talk to you? What do you want? Wait, is Aaron okay? Oh yeah, Aaron's fine. You don't need to worry about him. But look, I'm here to just say, you know, sorry. Sorry? Are you serious? Yeah. You know, I read all about your success and how, how great you've been doing, and I was wrong about you. I thought you were always going to be a failure, but look at you. Look at you now. Wow, I've always wanted to hear you say that. I can't believe this. I've missed you, and I'd love to learn all about who you are now as a person. So maybe we should, I don't know, spend some time together? I've been waiting my whole life for this. So my GPS should have brought me the same way mom went, but why would she come here? Why is she acting so strange? I don't know, I've never seen mom like this before. I've never been here before either. At least I can't remember. I wonder what is going on. I gotta figure everything out. This is just so weird. Nathan, hey, I've been looking for you. What? Oh, oh my gosh, Bella, it's, it's Aaron. What? No, <laughs> Nathan, don't choke like that. No, it's me, Aaron. Aaron, I can't believe it. I've missed you so much. It's so good to see you. It's really good to see you too, Bella. Oh, it's been so, so long. I know, what happened to you? You just like vanished out of nowhere. Wait, hold on. First off, you called me Nathan. What? Why? How do you know that name? Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a really long story. Hold on. Let me explain. Nathan, I am so proud of you. Look, you are just so successful. Thanks, Mom. I I've always wanted to hear you say that. That makes me feel so good. Well, you know, I hate to rain on your parade, but uh, things aren't going so well for me at home. Well, I'm really sorry, but I know how I can make it up to you. Check this place out. A good friend of mine took me here once and it made my day. Mom, I was wondering, where's Aaron? I've missed him so much. I I've, I've wanted to see him forever. Oh, look, I I've been meaning to tell you. He's actually the reason why we moved. He, he didn't want anything to do with you anymore. He, he hates you. Whoa, seriously? We, we were so close. How could he hate me? I didn't do anything wrong to him that day. All we did was hang out. I don't know, I tried to talk some sense into him and he just wouldn't listen. He just kept screaming, I hate my brother, over and over, so we had to leave. I don't even know what to say to that. Yeah, it was right here, this exact spot. It's where I met Nathan. This is so crazy, Bella, you don't understand. Why, did you not know you had a twin brother or something? All of my life, my mom told me I had a twin brother, but he was a liar and a hurtful person, and that's why we left him. Yikes. Okay, that seems real harsh. This whole time, my brother's been out there all by himself. I can't believe my mom would do that, and then lie to me about it. Yeah, that seems pretty awful of a mother to do to her kid. Yeah, but it's just been so long. I mean, I was a kid. I don't really remember a whole lot, but I feel like my mom was really awful to Nathan. I mean, she abandoned your brother and then told you lies about him? Who does that? I don't know. I feel like I just don't know who my mom is anymore. But what is she doing here now? It doesn't make sense. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I've got to figure out what's going on with my mom and stop her. I feel like she's planning something. All right, Mom, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for the awesome time. Oh, of course. Maybe we can spend more time together. That would be great. Oh, yeah, that would be amazing. Bye now. <laughs> this is perfect. My plan is coming together perfectly. <laughs> what is going on here? This is so weird. Aaron, what are you doing here? Nathan, man, it's been so long. H how are you? I'm terrible, Aaron, because you took my life and my mom away from me. Everything that's happened to me is your fault, and I can't believe it. What? No, no way. Listen, we need to talk. Mom is up to something. No, you've messed with my head too long, man. You don't know what I've gone through because of you. And all this time, I wanted to come back and see you, and you hated me. You were the reason. Nathan, you've got this all wrong. Just leave my house and don't come back. And then he just pushed me and said he never wanted to see me again. That does not seem like Nathan at all. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Yeah, he certainly wasn't acting like the brother I remembered. Well, look, maybe I can talk some sense into him and he'll listen because this does not seem right. Something is wrong here. Yeah, I hope he's going to come around eventually. I mean, my whole life has basically been a lie and I want my brother back. I just, I wish I could help more. It's okay. Don't worry yourself too much about it. We'll talk again soon, okay? I, I've got to go. Mom, we have to talk. Why have you been lying to me my whole life? What? What are you talking about, Aaron? Now that I'm older and I can see things more clearly, everything makes sense. All the way back to when we left Nathan in the first place. You're, you're an awful person. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Calm down. Aaron, let's talk this out. I, I can explain. Why? So I can give you more time so you can just lie more and more? That's all you do is lie. No, no, wait. Aaron, come back. Hey, Bella, what's up? I got a lot I got to tell you. Yeah, and I have to talk to you too. What is he doing here? Listen, Nathan, I just want to talk to you, okay? I don't want to hear it, man. You ruined my life. Dude, I didn't ruin your life at all, okay? And you're not the only one affected by all of this. My life is a mess, too. You two need to take a second and listen to each other. I know you're really worked up, but I think you're both missing something here, okay? You know what? I don't even care. I'm just going to leave. No, you're not going to leave. You're going to stop and you're going to listen to me. All right, then what? Say it. Say what you have to say. Mom has been using and manipulating us our whole lives. Don't you see it? She told me that you hate me, and that's the reason that you guys left. I don't hate you at all. Mom told me for the longest time that you were the worst kid ever, and we had to leave you behind. Well, it's not true, and I spent my whole life trying to find you guys, and it was her all along that did this? Well, it's easy to see. She's using you for your money. That's the only reason why she wants you back in her life. Man, I don't know. I'm so confused. Mom, we got to talk. I need to know the truth already. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're out of time. I already took your stuff. So they were telling the truth. You're really here just to steal all my stuff. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I can't believe that I trusted you. I let you back into my life. Well, whose fault is that? Yours, stupid. Now you're just going to walk away. Whatever. I'm better off without you. But Aaron, I messed up so much with him. I need to find a way to make it up to him. I need to talk to him. Hey, Aaron, Aaron. Nathan, dude, I've been looking for you. Look, dude, you were right. All my stuff is gone. I, I should have believed you. This is all mom's fault. She's ruined everything, okay? She's manipulated both of us. 
I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I left you so long ago. I should have never done that. It's okay. You didn't have a choice. We were just kids. But we're adults now, man. And now we can be in each other's lives. That's the most important thing. That we found each other. Yeah. And we're finally back together. And we're not going to let mom ruin our lives anymore, okay? Well, she already ruined mine. She took everything that I have. Don't worry about that, okay? I have everything handled. <laughs> At least I have a good amount of cash. Let me turn on the lights real quick. Wait a minute. Everything is gone? My furniture? My figurines? No. No! Yeah, I may have sold all her furniture. Well, I had to get her back for everything that she's done to us. And actually, I think we made more profit than what she took from you. So you sold all of her furniture? Yeah, that's right. 